Hey friends, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do a lot. We are going to add the binding piece and we're going to start some of the page construction. This is the Magical Winter Simply Magical mini album that we're making. We're making the portrait version. I have a playlist for this album. I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. And this was the last video we did and it's still temporarily stuck on here, but I believe uh, we're gonna leave it there. I like it, I think it looks good. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything else to the cover yet. Like I haven't done the spine or the back piece or anything, but we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it. I like the way it turned out. Of course, we need to do some inserts and things like that. I'm not gonna permanently stick it down yet because I may end up adding some, some things, you never know. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. So in the play, this video is in the playlist where we did this uh, embellishing of the covers, and so was the introduction to the templates and all of that. And we are using the, I cleaned up my space just a little bit, and now I can't find anything. So hold on. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm using the, oops, can't even see it. Winter Ornament Paper Collection. This is what the Etsy listing looks like. It's uh, the background design and the paper collection uh, all together. And I have a very special collections list that I created for this project. So everything that I'm using from my Etsy shop is in that collections list. And that link is also below in the description box. One other thing, there is also an Amazon list linked down below in the description box and I've got it pinned in the comments and I've noticed that people are having trouble accessing it and I've noticed that I too when I go to access other people's lists that I'm having trouble finding them. So I'm thinking there might be a glitch with Amazon right now. So just bear with me, Try check back, try the link again. Um, I've been having troubles myself finding other people's things. So, uh, yeah, so let me know if you're having any trouble with Amazon uh, finding that link because I put, I try to put all the products that I use in that list so that you can look at what I'm using or compare to things that you have or compare to things that um, you may want to buy. I try to do that um, as best I can. So, it's also a affiliate link. So, I do earn a small commission if you purchase through that link. And are you guys crooked? There we go. Um, I do earn a small commission at no cost to you and it does help keep my channel going and I appreciate it every single time you guys go through my links. It's very, 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 very much appreciated. Every little bit does count in my book. That's funny, I, was, <laughs> I just said there's a glitch with Amazon and somebody just liked my reply when they were telling me that they were having trouble with, <laughs> with, oh, don't do that with um, their Amazon link. I said, it's probably a glitch. Give it a try. They liked that comment. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, okay. What else was I saying? Also, today, I think today, today, today in my Facebook group. Oh, no, before I go on any further, don't forget there is a giveaway. And for this whole video series, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to comment below all videos in this video series um, in the playlist, except for the introduction to the templates and the workbook construction video. It starts with the cover. When you, when you see the cover video, start there and you comment on all the videos in this playlist. And then at the end of my uh, album series, I will pick two videos and there'll be two winners. And that's also in a past video, all the different stuff that's going to be included in that giveaway. You have to be a subscriber and you have to leave comments and I'll pick two random videos and then the YouTube random comment picker and all that jazz will do the rest. Okay. All right. So today in my Facebook group, I was reminded that um, I don't always do this and I'm going to do it in today's video, but I was reminded about different adhesives and different climates and how long certain adhesives will last and when should you use adhesives and when should you use tape, when should you use liquid, when should, when, 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 and how and what and why. Well, <laughs> which is a huge question. So I'm not going to answer all that whole entire huge question, but I am going to answer uh, a bit of it today in today's video. So let's start with, we're going to do the binding. So I'm just going to grab what I've already prepped for the binding and then we'll come back to the rest in a little bit. 
Oh, I guess I could show you what the binding page looks like. So page P3 is the binding page that I'm gonna use. This is the accordion binding. And I've already prepped it. Oops, I think I did it this way. I've already cut it and prepped it. So I am doing two fins in this album. So what you need is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections out of this binding piece. So this, I printed the page P3 with the ornament background design on it. So I've already cut that out. And I'm gonna stick that in here. Actually, no, I might, I'm gonna leave this out so I don't forget that I have it. I may end up matting some of the fins with this. So I'm gonna stick it over in my crafty companion over there. Um, so anyway, so I cut that out. It's printed onto 80 pound white cardstock. I'll also have timestamps below and I'll also be in the comments. It'll be in the pinned comment, the top comment. I'll have the list and the Amazon list and then the timestamps. What I did was, what? how many sections did I just say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. I cut it out. I scored every section. And then I go through and I, I burnish, I prep and burnish the score marks in one direction all of them in that same direction. Then I flip it over and I do the same thing in the other direction. And I do this so that it kind of preps the fold pretty good. And then what I did, after I did that, I, I inked the top and bottom just so that it wouldn't be white cardstock. And then I went, I went and did the tape. So I put tape on, let me scooch in. And I don't know why I need to get a new thing for my workspace here, my tabletop, my whatever top this is. <laughs> okay, can you see that? Okay, so what I did was I put tape on the first section, skipped the next section, put tape on the third section and the fourth section, skipped the next section, put tape on the fifth section. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put tape on the first one, skip the second one, put tape on the third and fourth one. Why does my pencil look like it's bending? Skip the fifth one and put tape on the sixth and seventh one. This is 3 8 inch score tape. I ran out of the other tape that I was using, so I have this linked in my Amazon list, but I also have, uh, oops, I also have my tape resources linked down below for other other online stores as well. So basically what I've created is we've got the first piece is going to be flat to the uh, to the spine and then the next two sections are going to be glued together like this. If my camera will focus, right? And then this next section is going to be flat to the spine. And then the next two sections are going to be glued together like this. So you end up with two fins and two flaps. And the back side will end up looking like this. It'll have tape on all three sections. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back to there's the first one has tape. The second one does not. The third one has tape. We're going to remove that tape. Oops. One of the very important things to using double-sided adhesive is to burnish. So when you put the tape on, you need to burnish it like this before you remove the tape backing. The next thing I almost always forget to do in video, but it depends on your climate, um, and that'll have to be something you have to experiment with, what works best for you, is to use liquid glue also. So I, I like to use liquid glue where the tape is not usually so i will go along the edges sometimes um i think my glue is really watery uh, sometimes i will smooth it out with my fingers and then i will bring those two pieces together so the reason I'd like to use two different types of adhesive in certain cases, so this would be one of those cases, is that the double-sided adhesive grabs quickly 
and then it allows the liquid glue to dry thoroughly and then therefore it's more permanent. So the double-sided adhesive you can remove with undo. Um, you can, so that way you can like take pages on and off if you, if you need to. But if you want something to be permanent, 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 you need to use both or just use liquid glue. I like to use both, but it's totally up to you. You could use the you could use just straight up liquid glue and it just takes longer to dry. You just have to hold it longer or clamp it or, or whatever it is your favorite method is. Okay, so now we've got a piece that has tape and then the next section has tape, but then we have a peak right there, right? So then we're gonna skip the section with the tape. Then we've got the section without tape. We are gonna grab the next section that has tape and we're gonna remove the tape backing. And then we're going to put some liquid glue again. I like to put it on the areas that don't have tape. But then I like to smooth it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you want to bring them together. Something. There's construction going on across the street, and sometimes they're really loud. Also, it could be a family member arriving home. Let me double check just to be cool, just be sure. Okay, let's see. Okay. Nope, okay. Nope, okay. <laughs> so, then, now we've got our actual binding piece constructed. So we've got this piece that's going to attach down to the, oops, sorry. We've got this piece that's going to attach down to the spine. We've got this fin. We've got this piece that'll attach down to the spine. We've got this fin, and we got this piece that'll attach down to the spine. So when you flip it over to the back side, all three of those pieces have adhesive on them. So bring in the book over here. This does have a direction and sometimes it can be confusing. So you wanna make sure that you have it going the right way and it should fit perfectly on your spine piece from here to here, from edge to edge. So you just kinda of wanna center it from top to bottom. You just wanna center it from top to bottom that way it looks nice and neat and tidy. So I am going to, with this one, I, I'm trying to decide if I want to ink this. I think I will really quick, just in case. I'm just gonna ink these edges that are gonna be like up next to that spine piece there, or that edge. Cause I've already inked the top and the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the tape backing on all three. I'm gonna add liquid glue to this. Now this has mostly has tape on it, um, except for certain areas. So I'm just gonna be generous with the areas that don't have tape with my liquid glue. And then I'm gonna just kind of go around the edges. This is art glitter glue. And I'm gonna smooth this out just a little bit again. Wipe my finger off. Ooh, I made a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. And again, I'm gonna try to get this on even top to bottom. Like this. Topper topper back on my glue bottle. All right, so now I'm going to take my bone folder. This is a Teflon bone folder, and I'm going to burnish 
these pieces down. It's very important to burnish double-sided adhesive down. That is the only way that it will make good contact. So I'm just going to keep flipping these fans back and forth. Some people use Tyvek on their binding piece and that's okay too. I just tend to not do stuff like that because in general, I am not throwing my albums around. You know, I'm not like tossing them across the room, I'm not tossing them to someone to look at, you know, that kind of stuff. So it, usually they're on a shelf or they're on a table where, look at there, I got glue. Look at that, it's my new nail polish. So I'm usually not that worried about the binding, especially this type of binding. Um, now if we were doing like the, um, the accordion, elastic accordion binding, where you have the elastic on the ends there, you may want to reinforce that of course with some Tyvek because you don't want the, the elastic to rip through. Okay, so now we've got our binding piece installed. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just do this as a separate video because it took me too long to explain. <laughs> I'm not a quick talker. You guys know that about me. I apologize. So, but all right. So in the next video, we'll, we'll go on to page construction. We will build some pages on this first fin, or at least what I've got prepped and ready to go. So if you did more than two fins, if you did a three fin or a four fin or a five fin, just count out the number of, you know, the, you know, each fin, needs one, two, three sections for the fin, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you add one more section to attach down to the spine. So when I say one, two, three, one attached down to the spine, two, three is the fin. One attached down to the spine, two, three is the fin. One attached down to the spine. So if you made a three fin binding, you would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You would need ten sections for a three fin, okay? So, um, I just kind of want to point that out as well. But all right, you guys, don't forget to leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.